channel started out with figure reviews, then we went to episode reviews and book reviews and audio drama reviews. All this year, we're going to be doing something slightly different and once again extending the variety of content that I decide to pump out on a weekly basis. I'm going to be taking a look at a brand new series of Doctor Who soundtracks by Silver Screen Records, which is the Doctor Who soundtracks for the classic series, starting off with the first release, The Daleks, the first ever original 1960s Dalek story. And as you can see, it is on snazzy vinyl, which is an interest that I've decided to get into other than Doctor who it's something that I actually have an interest in outside the channel it's something of which that I decided to do sort of on my own accord because I thought I've been into Doctor Who for many many years I've never really got any other hobbies into anything else so I thought you know what I might start with vinyl records and go to a few of my favourite musicians and favourite bands and take a look at some of their music and I thought that would be something rather fun to do and I thought that I would involve it within this channel as well and take a look at some Doctor Who content in there as well starting off with this perfectly and conveniently released series by Silver Screen. To start out this series, I'm going to be taking a look at the first release from the Silver Screen line for this year, which is the original television soundtrack for the Daleks, the original first ever Dalek story in 1963. Music by Trimson Carey and Brian Hodgson, with also special sounds by the BBC Radiophonic Workshop, of course, being the Doctor Who theme, Ron Grainer, and all of that. So yeah, this is a rather fun release to start on, and it's an area of Doctor Who that I've never really gone into before. I bought the Series 9 soundtrack, or Series 8 one, I think. Oh yeah, because the Series 9 one hasn't actually came out yet. I do believe that's coming out at some point in there future but yeah I think that I reviewed that one quite a while back but I've never really gone into the music of Doctor Who and I think that it's an area that I've been rather interested in for a while and I can't wait to see what more music this line pumps out from many different eras of Doctor Who many different stories and this one is a really fun one to start on considering it's a very early part of Doctor Who history and quite an iconic part as well featuring pretty much one of the main faces of Doctor Who being the actual Daleks. So first off where can you buy this release from it is available in a number of formats solo this is going to be a Doctor Who vinyl review you can of course also get it on a standard cd for 8.99 on the silver screen website i do believe that it's currently also on amazon for 13.99 however that price may vary i do believe that other stores such as forbidden planet may also be getting it in as well however if you also want the digital download version the mp3 format you can also get it in a flac format don't know what that is i'm not into this old technical lingo when it comes to download speak but yeah you can also get that for 7.99 just your standard probably zip file format then you can also get the download individual track format if there's a specific one from the track list that you would like for 99p each once again on the silver screen website however the format that i'm going to be reviewing today is of course the 12 inch vinyl format which is the most expensive of them all because it is of course a vinyl so that's something that you do come to expect and that is 18.99 and do believe that on amazon it is currently 20 pound as well however judging to what episodes will be released in this line as there is going to be eight of them such as a second edition which is survival of course the final ever doctor Who story from the classic series i do believe that that is m20 six pounds on amazon currently and maybe 25 on the silver screen website due to it being a double lp so it does actually depend how many tracks are on the release such as the vinyl version as you can see here is in fact only 31 tracks however the standard cd version is 36 tracks so i think it just depends how much they can actually put onto the vinyl and sort of how much space there is on it and things like that no doubt if you're a vinyl fan you will know all about that due to me only just getting into it i don't really know too much about actual technical sides of vinyls but hopefully i will do in the future and maybe as this review series continues so yeah there is a lot of different places that you can buy this from i will probably leave the links in the description below start off with because i absolutely love product reviews on this channel i am going to be starting with a little bit of a product review format to take a look at this very nice piece itself before moving on to the actual music so taking a look at the actual physical vinyl on its cover now i'd just like to say before we take a look at this piece in detail that this color angle that we're using is a little bit of a work in progress as this is the first ever vinyl review on this channel i haven't really actually fixed a proper position to actually film the physical product reviews from yet because this is quite an awkward size i've never really needed to work with this scale before so yeah this is a little bit of a work in progress if this goes down well and it looks all right on camera this angle will probably stay if it doesn't then it'll probably be changed by the next video as i say it's all a little bit of an amateur thing at the moment hopefully we'll get that in the very end so yeah this is a really nice and stunning cover done by clayton hickman really nicely resembles 1960s doctor Who. a little bit black and white a little bit of a blue filter in there as well so as you can see at the right top there we've got william hartnell very nicely printed along with two dalek designs which i do believe maybe from the actual story i don't know they look very clear maybe they've done sort of a little bit of 
Photoshop and then to slightly clear it up. So we get original television soundtrack at the top along with this rather nice sort of Starfield design. I really like the use of this almost subtle hexagon pattern going down the side here, which in fact covers the whole piece. And then we also have this Starfield in the background as well, along with the subtle use of the Scarrow City Dalek corridor, sort of having this Dalek protruding from it, which is really nice and effective. And then of course at the very bottom, we get a rather nice use of the Scarrow Dalek City there with the different mountains and sort of rather alienish terrain in the background. I do really like that. Then we get the logo, Doctor Who along the BBC, and then we get the Daleks, music by Tristan Carey, along a special sound by Brian Hodgson and BBC Radiophonic Workshop along the front. Now this is, of course, as with most vinyls, in sort of like a cellophane kind of case thing, which you can, of course, easily whip off. However, we do also have this little sticker along the front, which says Silver Screen Records, Doctor Who and the Daleks, and about music by Tristan Carey, along with one of eight classic soundtracks newly released on vinyl. So the Future 7 will be coming out soon. I do believe the Survival one is already out. And then the other ones are yet to be revealed what those will be, so hopefully we'll see more news on that in the very future. Taking a look back at the vinyl itself, on the very side there, we do get the very start to sort of this collage that I do believe will build up to sort of reveal a picture of the TARDIS, along with the silver screen logo once again, along with Doctor Who and the Daleks, and a little coding piece at the very bottom. At the very back of this piece, not really too much going on, we just have the Scar of City nicely printed along the bottom there, along with a little bit more company information. And then once again, the music has been done by the BBC Radiophonic Workshop and Tristan Carey. And then we get a list of the full track list which I will give a little bit of a zoom in on now if you'd like to quickly pause and take a look at that we do get it all in episode order from episode one to seven and then of course at the very top gets side A in there as well which you can just see at the top of the different soundtracks nicely named along with their running times at the side. On the inside now we do in fact have once again this blue filtery designed really nicely continued rather simplistic and rather checkered at the same time. At the very top we do get this sticker that says scan with Spotify and then we do have a code underneath that piece of paper that I've put over there because this is my copy of the Dalek soundtrack and you're not having it but yeah that is a download piece that I do believe you can do just to get a zip file or something like that from Spotify or you can download it I don't particularly know how Spotify works because I've not had it but yeah we do have a nice image of a Dalek there as well which is nice to see and they'll get a little bit of information about Tristan Carey which once again if you'd like to pause and read that you can do now just sliding up the camera there you go you can read that if you so wish it's a little bit of background into his compositions in the past and they'll get a little bit more technical issues about the actual piece along with a little bit of copy right at the very top there about the different tracks on this release with a few more subtle images of Daleks which is very nice. Another Dalek, yay. And then at the very top once again we get a bit more information about Mark Ayres which is the person who put this vinyl together. As you can see once again you can pause that if you so wish to read it. And then of course at the very bottom something which I do believe is on the back cover of the physical CD version we just get a little bit more of an in-depth look at the different tracks on this release once again in episode order with the different episode titles there such as episode one The Dead Planet, episode four The Ambush going all the way down to the bottom to the final piece along with a massive image of a Dalek on the side there. As with all vinyls this just slides out the bottom as this is just a singular release you only have one vinyl for this piece as you can see there. Not really too much going on it's just a standard vinyl sleeve something to note though however when you first open this this might be incredibly hard to get out mine was actually quite stiff in there but once you've actually took it out a few times it should be okay. It is just your standard vinyl there you go just taking a look briefly it's just your standard black one however we do have a very nice design there of a Dalek once again from 1960s on side A, which once this is playing, it makes it spin. It's rather fun to look at and quite amusing. Then, of course, on the very side, once again, we get a rather nice grey design, which once again, with the Daleks and then the Doctor Who credits at the very bottom. So, yeah, a rather simplistic vinyl, nothing really too much going on. It's really, it's so overall for the actual vinyl itself along the cover, a really nice and stunning piece. I absolutely love this front cover by Clayton Hickman, and I can't wait to see what other work he's going to do in the future for this line. And also, I'm really excited to collect up this image on the side as well, as I imagine at the very end, this collection will look very nice all together. So yeah, a very nice piece overall, and hopefully, which it will be probably, the music will be just as good. So now I've actually taken a look at the actual product itself. The CD version is pretty much exactly the same, just the same cover art within an actual CD. Taking a look at the actual music itself, it is actually quite a wide range of different Dalek sounds. I think if you're somebody that is into actual albums by actual modern day artists, or really any musicians from any time really, this is something completely different to that because it is of course a soundtrack from the actual television show. There isn't really any melodies in there, especially with the actual concept of this story. It is a little bit of a... Well, a very alien theme so it is very unusual very different and something of which if you are as I say into buying normal modern day vinyls from modern day artists or bands this is something completely different to that and definitely more for probably the obscure Doctor Who fan especially that of the classic series fans as opposed to new series ones.
overall theme for the entirety of this music is incredibly cold, incredibly clinical, because of course the Daleks planet Scaro is war torn, it's ruined, it's of course had a post nuclear war, and yet it's incredibly barren and it feels cold and it really doesn't really feel very welcoming at all. I can really recall from the actual story, even as displayed on the back here of the actual vinyl, the Dalek City, it looks incredibly unwelcoming and as I say, incredibly alien. I do absolutely love the original Dalek story and I'm really glad that this line actually started out on a release like this one because it kind of harks back to the original series of Doctor Who and the way that we just have that very iconic theme, the heartbeat of the Dalek kind of the d -d 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 that we even hear now within the actual new series. I do believe that it has been remixed several times by Murray Gold and I do believe that it may also be within the actual new series Dalek theme itself. So it has shown that it has stood the test of time and I think that this release very much that early stages of the Dalek life and showing how it doesn't really have any of that nice melody and there's something that you expect from music to sort of have a rather catchy beat or something like that. This is just completely unpredictable. As you may know, I have five dogs and I played this at a fairly decent volume and it absolutely terrified them. Not gonna lie, they came running into the room staring at the record player because they didn't understand what the music was, just having all these howls and beats and that it does very much feel. There are several tracks in fact called like Forest Atmosphere, forest and storm or stuff like that and um, the storm inside the city the flight the ambush so naturally it feels sort of very rushed very staggered and sort of unpredictable as i say you'll get a few loud beats every so often and a few calm sort of all of calms the dark planet can get and then just cracks and almost like a lightning effect every so often it is really atmospheric it actually makes me want to go into reading this story again maybe even the target novel or something i would actually go and like to read that at some point or even watch the story again because it's very interesting to sort of listen Listen to the soundtrack alone about the scripting in there because you don't really notice it throughout the actual story but when you actually listen to it alone you really do realise that a lot of effort has gone into it sort of recreating that rather metallic robotic non-humane sort of sound and looking very eerie and very it is a creepy sort of musicy spooky soundtrack and I do quite like that. One of the first tracks I'd like to go into in a little bit more detail is the first track, track one, which is of course the original Doctor Who theme, of course not composed by Tristan Carey, it's throughout the whole 1960 Doctor Who, and it is more composed by the BBC Radiophonic Workshop, and I think just listening to it on vinyl is a whole different experience to actually listening to it through headphones or anything like that, you can really pick out some of the beats and sort of the ambient sounds in the background, and I really do think it's a lovely way to actually introduce this, I think I would actually be disappointed if this release didn't have the original theme on it. Although, as I say, it wasn't composed by Tristan Carey. I think it's just really atmospheric and really does sort of howl and really does sort of echo and really give that atmosphere of 1960s Doctor Who. And I hear it in a slightly different format because the thing with the sort of more digital format these days is it's very clear, it's very crisp, and that's something of which there wouldn't have been the real atmosphere of 60s Doctor Who. It would have been a bit crackly in parts and something of which I can compare this record to when it comes to the other records that I've bought from other things such as, as I say, actual modern day music is that does feel a little bit clearer. This naturally does have a few pops and things in there and sort of crackles, which adds to its effect even more. And I do really like that. It feels sort of really rushed and sort of crackly in every so often. And when it sort of goes over a certain volume, it'll end up a little bit more crackly as well. And I think that that is sort of a perfect bit of years added onto the music and kind of gives, as I say, a little bit more of an effect to the atmosphere. There is also a few TARDIS soundtracks on there as well, such as I do believe the TARDIS food machine or something like that on the TARDIS computer as it's helpfully named and do believe at the very end we get TARDIS stops which is a rather sort of once again pulsating kind of sound and I think that it's nice to have a few TARDIS tracks on there if it's somebody that is very much into the TARDIS I think that is something you may be interested in I guess or if you're just individually interested in the TARDIS that you can buy the tracks as I say from the actual Silver Screen website just individually on the mp3 download version but yeah this is a rather unusual part of Doctor Who I can imagine that if you're into music you may not be into this but if you're interested in actual sort of the creation and genesis of Doctor Who and the genesis of the Daleks, both the actual story genesis of the Daleks and the actual genesis from the actual TV show, I think this is a great little purchase. If you're somebody that's actually got a record player as well, I do highly recommend this one. And then maybe if you don't like it, don't bother buying the other seven. However, if you do, I do recommend sticking out for the future and maybe having a look at the other releases that they've got planned. I definitely do intend to buy these um, double LP of survival at some point because I think that'll be really interesting to see how Dominic Glynn's soundtrack from the very final ever 
ever Doctor Who story from the classic series. Well, compared to that of the Daleks, one of the first ever Doctor Who serials from the classic series, and kind of show how the music has changed over time. And I do really like that, and I think that is a really good step to go with this line, having one of the earliest pieces, and then one of the final pieces in there as well. Overall, for the Doctor Who original television soundtrack to the Daleks vinyl, it's a really lovely piece. As I say, if you have a vinyl player, then I definitely recommend buying this piece. Generally, overall, the cover art is absolutely beautiful, along with the design on the inside as well. It's just really nice to have a little bit of Doctor Who history in there. I think that this is really a key part to the original television show. And if you're into classic Doctor Who, I do recommend at least going onto the Silver Screen website and actually listening to the individual tracks and seeing if you are interested within this release, because it is an unusual, obscure part of Doctor Who that you may be interested in. Who knows if you don't try it? But yeah, generally overall for this, I do recommend it. If you are interested in this line, however, don't want to spend £20, then you can also get the standard CD version as well, which to be honest, does have a few bonus tracks in there as well. And yeah, you can get a CD and just plonk that on every so often if you would so wish. It's just a nice little addition to the collection either way. You can sit it along with your other big finish releases or something like that. But yeah, overall a really nice piece. I do recommend it for a rather obscure part of the Doctor Who fandom. It's just so nice to have a really different piece of merchandise in my collection. I'm definitely going to be considering collecting the rest in the line. So thanks for watching this first ever Doctor Who vinyl review on this channel. I hope it's been decent. I hope that I'm going to be able to improve these reviews in the future and maybe develop over time as I gain more knowledge about vinyls. If you have any questions about this release or actual vinyls themselves, then please do leave them below. I will try my best to answer them in the best way I can. Although, as I say, because I am new to vinyl, I may not know some of the more complicated and complex answers only people who are professionals into vinyls and know quite a lot about them will know. But I'll try to figure them out at some point, actually respond to them in the best way I can. As I say. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this review and I hope that you stick around for more Doctor Who vinyl reviews as well as other Doctor Who reviews in the future as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.